Hello everyone! Now that you've reached this slide, you're ready to create a rough draft of your tiny house. Your rough draft will be done in pixel art. This is what your tiny house might look like when you're all done. Follow along and I'll show you how it's done. The first thing that you'll need to do is think of yourself inside of your tiny house. The yellow walls are flat right now, but they will be folded up. The wall color can change. I changed it to yellow so that you could see it. To change any of the colors of the pixels, you have to highlight them. To highlight the pixels, take your mouse. Your mouse must be the eye beam. Remember that throughout this whole lesson. Click and hold with your eye beam and drag across and down so you can highlight the entire wall. This is side A of your tiny house. What color would you like the walls to be? To change that, go up to the paint bucket. Change the color of your walls. You might want them to be blue. If one wall is blue, then the other walls will probably be blue as well. Click and hold again with your eye beam and drag across and down. Change the color of your wall. This is side B. The sides will be important when you cut out and assemble your tiny house later on. Click and hold with your eye beam and drag across. Go up to the paint bucket and change the color. Last wall, use your eye beam, click and hold and drag. This is side D. Go to your paint bucket and change the color. The next thing you might want to change is the floor design. The floor is this part. Click and hold and drag all the way across and down. What do you want your floor to look like? Go to your paint bucket. You may use a solid color, but I like to choose a gradient. Go to gradient. The gradients are color blends. Choose the color blend that you'd like. The black gradient is my floor and I also have blue walls. What I now wanna do is I want to put in, in pixel art, things that I need to have in my tiny house, like a shower or a tub, a bathroom sink, a kitchen sink. Where's your refrigerator going to be? Are you going to have any windows? The items on the corners of your walls are the things you must have in your tiny house. Let's start with some windows. The windows will be on the walls of your tiny house. Click and hold and drag where you want to have a window. Remember, you must use your eye beam. Once you have something selected, go up to the paint bucket. Either choose a solid color for your window or a gradient. I'm gonna choose a gradient. These will be my windows. Now what I wanna do is I wanna mark off that I have my windows picked out. This is the color of my window. I'm going to select it, click on it. What I wanna teach you is a new tool called the Format Painter. When you have one of these cells or squares highlighted, you can go to the Format Painter. It looks like a paint roller. Click the Paint Format button. Then go to your window. This will match the color of your windows. Again, 
you must use your I beam here and click. This tells us that your window color will be that design. Let's try that again. Go to the window color you picked out. Click the square. Then go to the format painter. It looks like the paint roller. Then go to the box that shows window. Use your I beam and click. The next thing I want to put in is a front door. Where will my front door be in my tiny house? Highlight where you want it to be. My front door will be on side D. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to click and hold and drag an area that's going to be my front door. Again, you have to imagine yourself standing on your floor of your tiny house and these walls coming up 90 degrees. This is my door. I want to change it to brown. Go to the paint bucket. Choose brown. I want to also mark this color in as my front door. Remember how I did it. Click on the box. Go to the format painter. Find the front door and click using your cursor. I have my windows and I have my front door picked out. Now, what's next? Where will be the refrigerator in my house? You need to decide. I'm going to click and hold. My refrigerator will be in the corner of my tiny house. Click and hold the squares where you want your refrigerator to be. Then go to the paint bucket. Again, you can use a solid color or a gradient to mark your refrigerator. My refrigerator will be orange. It'll be an orange gradient. Click. This is the placement of my refrigerator. I want to mark it as done on my list. Click the square. Go to the new tool. It's the format painter. Then find the box for the refrigerator. Use your I beam and click. Let's try that again. I want to put in the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink will be right beside the refrigerator. Click and hold on those cells. Go up to the paint bucket. Choose a color. Now I want to show that this color is the kitchen sink. I could go over to the kitchen sink box and remember the color that I picked. Or I could use the format painter. Keep watching. What would be next? Maybe a table. A table or an island will go here in my kitchen. Now I'm going to change the color. Go to the paint bucket. Find the solid color that I want to use for the kitchen table. Now I want to use the format painter to show that the kitchen table is done. Click the color. Go to the format painter. Find the table. And click the cell. Remember, you have to use the I beam or it will not work. Let's keep designing. We need to have a stove or oven in our tiny house. My stove will be on the corner of the kitchen island. It'll be two blocks long. Go to the paint bucket. The stove will be marked as purple. Click the cell. Go to the format painter. Click stove or oven. Where will your TV be in your tiny house? Mine's going to be connected on the wall. 
So I'm going to go and I'm going to highlight it. This is where my TV will be in my tiny house. It'll be on the wall. Now I'll go to the paint bucket. Choose a gradient. This will be marked as my TV. Click the cell. Go to the format painter. Find your TV. Use your I beam and click. This row is done. I've marked the stove, kitchen sink, TV, refrigerator, and front door. I need to add a mirror and some kind of artwork. I need to add a side table, couch, a counter or an island, microwave or closet. I need to add a shower or tub, bathroom sink, toilet, and a bed. And if I have any doors or walls in my tiny house. If I want to mark a wall, I can do that using the line tool. Click the line tool. Where will your wall be in your tiny house? I'm going to have one here. Click and hold and drag. Make it as straight as you can or hold down shift to get a perfectly straight line. Once you have your line, go to the color of it and change the color of the wall. I'm going to make it white. Now I can make it thicker by going to the line thickness button. This says there will be a wall in between this room and this room of the tiny house. I could click it and carefully move it around where I want it to be. This wall will divide the kitchen, living room area, and the bedroom. Let's add a bed. This is the box I will have for my bed. I'm going to go to the paint bucket, go to a color or a gradient, and choose the bed color. Pick the color and use your format painter to mark it on your list. Keep working on your pixel art tiny house blueprint. You'll need this blueprint later on in this lesson. Remember, if you have any questions, go to our Google Meets. If not, good luck with this project, and I'll see you next time.